YouTube, Kim Birchfield here. I thought I would come on and uh, show off my purse collection. Uh, I hope you enjoy. I've got about six purses to go through here, so let's jump right in. The first one I've got is one that I thrifted when I got into cross-dressing for permanent. Um, no, I got this one when I first moved to the town that I lived in, or that I live in, and was finally able to get into cross-dressing on a regular basis. And this is her. She's a Rosetti black purse. Uh, I picked this one up because I like the color black and the detailing on her was up to what I was looking for. Um, kind of quite sleek. Um, she's a cross the body purse. Uh, has a front pocket and an inner pocket. with a change pocket on the inside. So with each purse, aside from one, I've got a coin purse in, um, one that matches the design of the purse. I kind of like the black and blue theme with this one. So that's purse number one. My next purse is this uh, t-shirt and jeans branded one. It's a soft pliable leather with some lace embroidery on it. Um, another crossbody with the long strap. Inside it's got another uh, coin uh, coin pocket. At least that's what I'm calling these because I don't know what they you know they can be used for anything and I call them a coin pocket. Um, with this one, I've got a pink coin purse, which goes with the uh, pink embroidery on it. Looks nice. I picked this one up at the same thrift store. Um, when I shortly after I came out as a cross-dresser and I started carrying this one on a regular basis. It's an, another favorite of mine. So, okay. This purse uh, I helped a friend with some yard work at her house and we had been talking about purses. She knows I'm into cross-dressing and I was carrying the little black one I just shown you and I told her I kind of wished I'd had a uh, bigger, you know, a larger purse in black and she went upstairs and got this uh, big black purse out um, which is this one here this one doesn't have any branding on it so I'm guessing it's a Walmart purse or something like that 
It's got some silver accents on it. And inside, she's got three pockets for your stuff with this one because of the silver accents on the outside. I've got this silver coin purse with it. Which is a nice touch. On the outside she's got a uh, pocket also which is where I store my uh, keys and phone and stuff that I may need otherwise. The next one, which I'm sure you guys have seen sitting up here on my uh, bookshelf uh, in previous videos, is this purse which is another one that I uh, picked up shortly after I uh, came out as a cross-dresser. I uh, needed something to... needed a larger purse to carry my uh, stuff with. Um, and I picked this one up. It's got nice uh, gator skin detail here which is low distressed uh, she's got a pocket up front which is where I keep my phone and wallet and keys and stuff or probably my phone and keys for quick access on the inside or on the top she's got two uh, zippered pockets which is quite nice to have. Um, in this one I've got a thing of uh, playing cards and pack of gum. And it's got a uh, on the inside it's got also another what I'm calling a uh, coin section. Those are all of my second-hand purses there, um, either acquired from friends or from uh, charity shops. Uh, so from here on, these are all going to be new purses that I bought at my local Walmart. The first one is this black quilted purse which I haven't had a chance to use yet I've got another favorite purse which I'm going to show off here um, this one looks rather nice I love the gold accents on it it's got the handle is attached with gold chain which looks really cool it's got some gold detailing here on the front. Uh, it, it can be worn either crossbody with the long strap, or I can put the strap on the inside and carry it as a handbag with the two handles here. It's got a large pocket that magnetically closes here. Um, in the large pocket I've got the uh, coin purse for this purse, which is this red one, which goes with quite nice. two zippered pockets also on the top 
which are quite large. So, yeah. This is another one of my favorite purses. Um, kind of excited to get to use her. Um, I'm just waiting for the right opportunity. And now, on to my favorite purse, which is this uh, really stylish green and pink purse. I absolutely adore. I've, I wear this one primarily as a crossbody purse. Um, as it's got the outer strap that's long enough to do so. But sometimes I do carry it just by the handles as a uh, handbag. On the outside, um, I've got a uh, keychain attached. Which is adds to the kind of I call it bohemian aesthetic, but is really cool. Looks good on there. So, so you can yeah, it just clips on. Adds a little additional decorative touch to it. Um, this is the one I've got currently used, or that I'm currently using. That's the reason I've got my sunglasses hanging from the front pocket, which has got my chapstick and uh, a couple of pins in it. And that's also where my keys go. She's got a inside pocket or a uh, large interior for storage. I've got my wallet and all kinds of bits and bobs in there. I uh, opted to go with the pink coin purse with this one which looks nice because it's got the, uh, the coin purse is pink and the large purse has got pink accents. So I do have another uh, video out detailing what is in my purse um, which you should go watch and I'll link to in this video. I'll have uh, probably a uh, info card up in the corner and I'll also link it at the end of this video. So I encourage you to go watch that. Um, I also wanted to show off today's outfit in this video so I'll cut the video here and show you what I'm wearing Action. 
All right, so today's outfit consists of a green dress, which I picked up at Walmart, my uh, round handbag, and, or my round purse, which goes with quite well because the purse is also, along with pink, has got the green accents, so it looks nice together. Um, when I do go out today, even though I'm barefoot now, I have a pair of brown uh, strap sandals that I'm going to be wearing. Um, this is what the dress looks like from behind. Rather simple. And the front has got this uh, lace detail which is what drew me to it and also the fact that it is an off-the-shoulder type dress or well it's got the straps but it shows off my shoulders and chest area quite nicely um, yeah this is today's outfit And outside of that, I don't really have plans for any future videos, but I know being it's Pride Month, I do need to show some or do some kind of a video for uh, for that. I want to do a video on uh, something about being gay, which I am. And I also want to do a video on being trans, which I also am. I, I'm a transvestite. So, yeah, uh, also somewhere along the line, I want to do a bedroom tour. I want to show off what my bedroom looks like. I've got it decorated in pinks and purples, and it looks really cute. So... Yeah, at least that's three videos that I can think of coming up, along with uh, several outfit videos. So, yeah. I do appreciate the uh, views that I've been getting. I got on and was looking at my... Uh, channel analytics uh, last night and I noticed I've got a couple of videos that are really doing quite well um, which makes me really happy um, and I do very much appreciate the views so yeah well I want to oh also I've recently got into essential oils and I don't know if you'd be interested in seeing but I do have a decent collection of diffusers and of oils so um, maybe a future video I'll show off my favorite oil diffuser and I'll see what kind of interest there is um, so yeah that's a few videos that I've got in mind for this channel and yeah that's basically everything for this video I want to Thank you for watching. Please comment, subscribe, and like the video. Thank you.
Thank you.